Hello. This is a video tutorial of one of the amazing modules of uh, CS Online 3.x called the Online Class Scheduling. So first of all, you have to go to the URL and click uh, Admin. Okay. I have pre-configured my account to be a dean to access the College of Entrep Arts. So, uh, let's see. In the users, first the admins will be configuring this part for me. Yeah. So let's go to the uh, Actual transaction. You click transactions and class scheduling. There. Since uh, being a dean of the department or someone who makes schedule for the specific department, I'm only allowed to select from the sections of the department. Also, the other sections will not be available here. The same is true with the structures and rooms. Now, let's select one section. I can also simply just type the code there. After selecting the section, the subjects will be automatically retrieved for the classes. Okay, I'll select one. Okay. After selecting uh, the class, the required number of hours to be scheduled will be displayed here. Now, how about the instructors? I can uh, click assign. Of course, there are already pre-configured assignments here. The assignment of uh, instructors here are on a per subject basis because subjects are to be taught by those who specializes in that particular subject. So when I click assign here, I, I'm only allowed to, of course, configure my department. So the department here is disabled. So I can add additional features. Who will be teaching this subject? The same is true with the rooms. So when I click assign here, I can assign the rooms for my department. So after assigning those subjects to this, uh, those instructors to this subject, I can simply click next. The system will find the next available teacher for that subject. And the same is true with the room. Yeah. So I now find a schedule so for three hours. The pattern here, can, I can select a pattern, of course. So MWF or TTH. So the system will be finding available schedules on a pattern of MWF or TTH. MW or TTH or Friday, Saturday. MWF only, TTH only, uh, Monday to Friday. This is usually used during summer. Monday or Tuesday or etc. Okay, so, of course, I'll, I'll be using this and click OK. There. The system automatically find matches or available matches for, for, for all section, instructor, and room. The numbers displayed in these green boxes tells us the uh, number of possible combinations of available schedules. So which means there are 20 different possible schedules that can be selected. The first one is this. Okay, when, when you click one of the boxes there, the system displays box, uh, boxes in red background with a question mark, which shows you that this will be select, the selected schedule. Then just click Save. So in this case, I have selected uh, the schedule 9.30 to 11 up to here. So that is 9.30 to 11, you see in dark background. This one, 9.30 to 7, uh, 11. So just click Save. If 
you want to choose that, of course I don't want to choose that. I want to choose this. But you can choose any. You can click in any box there. But I want to choose this. Okay. Click save. Okay. That will be saved. And the selected schedule and saved schedule will be marked in dark blue background. Of course, the system will uh, detect also in the server side if the schedule is available. So before it saves the schedule, it first checks if it is really available in the server side. So to make sure that uh, other teams have not uh, occupied those schedules that you have set just, just selected. Okay, let's move to the next uh, class. There. All right, now, I can simply click next. So this is easier. Of course, if uh, I choose the same match, there, it is already select, pre selected for me. So I can choose MWF or TTH. For, for now, I would like to choose the MWF. Click save. Now, a while ago, the number of hours is 4 hours. So, I have uh, remaining 1 hour left for this class. So, I click again. Find. Now, this time, I will be finding a laboratory schedule. Click OK. There, I could select this or this one. Or I can also select this part for the lab. But I would like to select this part. Yeah. Then click save. Of course, you can change the teacher. Uh, if the teacher of the lab is uh, uh, not Kabaig, uh, I can click next. But there are no other assigned teachers for that. But I can, I can click assign to assign. Additional teachers. So, I go back to this. Click save. Just click save. Now, there. As you can see here, there are two different shades of blue. So, those that are in dark background, uh, blue background, are the ones that are currently selected. So, I can, because that is the second schedule that's the lab schedule how about the first schedule there you can see that the first schedule is in dark blue background and the lab schedule is in light blue background okay so i'll go to the next again i can do the same just click next there i can find of course it's already pre-selected there it's easy I can also choose, uh, this time I would like to choose uh, MWF, so click save, yeah. then to the next, so I'll try to make it faster, to show you how easy it is, yeah. this is the only available schedule, so click save, I go to the next, next, Find no available schedule. How about the next picture? So there are no available schedules. So I have to uh, maybe go to the next class. There. Uh, next sec next room. I should say. So click save. Very easy. Next, next. Mm, this room is full of schedule, so I I, I I need to go to the second room. But I can still go to the first room and see if there are available schedules there. Okay.
the EG, the ground. Okay. I'm through with this with this section. Now that's very easy. So when I go back to the subjects, to the classes, I can I can see the schedule there. I can click the schedule to see the details here. I can click any of these boxes and you see the schedules or the details of the schedule. Oh, by the way, the codes here are the class codes of CS. Uh, so they are the same as the class code being used in CS 2.8. So that's it. I have already uh, developed the schedule of the first section of BSD 1A. Thank you.